excellent, heavy projecting, unique, yet complimenting. Yes, guys, this particular fragrance from Ahmad Al Maghribi really surprised me. I know the bottle doesn't look that masculine, but honestly, this is a completely unisex fragrance, but I would say it leans 70% or rather 80% towards the masculine side. I don't think they mention any gender here. In general, perfumes do not have that gender specific. It's just for marketing reasons in case you didn't know. And this one definitely surprised me because this project's like a beast and yet it is so pleasing to the nose, guys. Stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about another fantastic release from Ahmad Al Maghribi. In case you remember my first video on Ahmad Al Maghribi, I had covered around five different fragrances. And honestly speaking, this is the best of all guys. You have to watch this video full without skipping. Okay, in case you want me to help recollect as to which all I covered in the first video, I'll put the link up on the screen. You can click there or in the video description box. There was leather, which is definitely a fantastic release. Cost around 2000 for the, I think it is a 50 ml. The first three years is too strong, which I don't like, but after three years, it's fantastic, okay? The other one was Samarud, which again is a great blend. 60 ml cost around three to three and a half, I remember. Obviously, it's not a typical summer fragrance, but if you want to wear oud in the summers, I think this would still go in the summer evening times. You can watch my full review in that particular link. I'm just helping you recollect which ones I covered. The third one was Bin Shake, which is oud for greatness inspired. And honestly speaking, this beats Latafa oud for glory way above, okay? This is super quality, it smells very rich. Now, in my eyes, I would say this one is better than Bin Shake. Okay, in case you have tried Bin Shake, I would still suggest, in my eyes, according to my taste, I would still suggest this one as better than Bin Shake. Okay, and then I also covered Kaf, which is a fantastic summer fragrance from Al Bayt Al Dimashki, sorry, from Ahmad Al Maghribi. And there was Mozna, which is a fruity fragrance from Ahmad Al Maghribi. So let's get started with the presentation of Ahmad Maghribi's March. Okay, this is how the outer box looks. You have all the details here. Again, this is a 60 ml cost around three to three and a half. But in the website, you would see the pricing very high, which is five to five and a half. I don't really think you should pay that much. I'll give you the seller's details in the video description box. You can easily get it for three to three and a half. Okay, even in Dubai or Saudi Arabia, it is priced around 3000 in the showroom because I've seen it as 150 or 160 dirhams in Dubai. So this is how the presentation box looks like. Okay, the outer box is pretty simple, but inside that you get this nice little velvety bottle or cylindrical box, which looks really premium guys, very premium, okay. Definitely, this is a great option for gifting in case you are planning to gift somebody with a very premium presentation and the smell and it is 60 ml Eau de Parfum concentration. You see the brand details here, which is Ahmad. Okay, Ahmad mentioned here, the brand details and the base is pretty plain. Coming to the bottle, like I said, this is not the best masculine looking bottle, but it definitely is a unique one. I haven't seen bottles with this kind of design before. Okay, this is how the cap goes and the sprayer is not bad at all. 60 ml, like I said, cost three to three and a half. Do not pay more than that because you're unnecessarily paying five and a half, which is 2000 more than what I have bought this for. Okay, now coming to the scent character. Now, before I go into the scent character, I'll tell you why I bought this one. In July, my first cousin got married, which was during the rainy season but it was not that cold because it's in the coastal area so in the evening time during the reception function and he was wearing a shehensha kind of a dress which was like um, a sharwani and he was wearing a fragrance which was projecting like a beast okay like three to four feet away 
from where we were standing next to him and when we were obviously congratulating and hugging it was even more appealing to the nose but even when we were three to four feet away this beast was projecting like hell guys and it smelled really rich it definitely suited that attire that he was wearing and it definitely suited a groom okay it smells so rich and he made a perfect choice of wearing this one and that's when i asked him as to which fragrance are you wearing it's projecting like crazy dude and he said it was much by ahmad al maghrib yani he lives in dubai and that's why he could get this one and he said he's a great fan of Ahmad Al Maghribi's perfumes. He also has Oud and Roses which I did not like that much. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's definitely good. My wife really liked Oud and Roses more than this one but it smelled kind of a Shura vibe to me and that's why I, I wouldn't say that I won't suggest that but if you have a choice to you know choose between Oud and Roses and March, I would say just get this one guys if you like even a bit of middle eastern fragrance and you want to smell rich very class like a up class guy from the middle eastern style you definitely have to check this one out i hate to say this but i would say blind by this one guys if you like middle eastern style of blends that's the caveat you don't like middle eastern style of blends do not get this one but if you like middle eastern style of blends blind by this one guys because i don't think you will get the option of trying it in showrooms because we are in india and india doesn't have any showrooms here so you obviously have to blind buy or if you get a chance of decant do not miss your chance again this is absolutely fantastic guys there were like four or five relatives of us my cousins all of them complimented him because it smelled so rich it like i said it suited his attire a lot and it was projecting like a beast four or five feet and yet it smelled fantastic now coming to how exactly it smells okay this starts off with a nice smooth floral accord now don't get me wrong here when i say floral it doesn't smell sweet floral at all okay it's floral and nutmeg and then the oud kicks in to make it smoky but smoky doesn't mean that it smells too loud and harsh annoying to the nose definitely not it has a velvety touch to the overall smokiness and it has that pink and white sort of a rose covering up this smokiness feel understand every word that i make here i'm describing how exactly what i felt on him okay a velvety covering of the white and pink rose to that smoky oud then comes that beautiful sandalwood to give it that creaminess along with that oud and other notes that I mentioned and then comes that beautiful natural smelling honey again the honey is not sweet doesn't smell artificial it smells so natural guys there are like a hell lot of accords notes used here but it is so perfectly balanced none of the notes are like shouting out saying I'm here okay and that is why I like this one a lot it it is so perfectly balanced that, like I said, none of them shouts out saying, hey, I'm Rose, hey, I'm Pachuri, hey, I'm Amber. So it doesn't go in that way at all. It's a perfect concoction of all these notes. There's definitely Amber, there's Musk, there's some nice woody notes. The Oud that I mentioned, definitely not skanky, not animalic, not barnyardish at all. And that is why this smells so class. It smells so up class. Even if you are somebody who do not like Oud fragrances, I think you will appreciate this one. The only caveat that I would give is you need to have taste towards Middle Eastern blends. If you're only into the fresh citrus aquatic in the designer style, I don't recommend this one. But if you like Middle Eastern style of blends, blind by this guys, blind by this. I hate to say this, but you have to try this. Okay. Now coming to the performance, like I said, projection three to four feet and this was projecting for almost four hours even on him and even when i tested it okay i don't see a problem even when i tested it on my skin the last thing is 14 15 hours on my skin it actually went above that but it was a little mild after that 14 15 hours mark this was on my skin and i tried two sprays on my clothes as well after two days even after 24 hours, I could smell it on my t-shirt, guys. And that is why 
I'm praising this a lot, not just because it is projecting and lasting, but the overall formulation, whew, I just cannot stop praising this, guys. This is an absolute fantastic blend. You have to try this one, okay? I'm gonna stop here because I don't think I would <laughs> stop appreciating it because it is that good. And I don't speak like this about every damn fragrance that I try and review. Very particular about few fragrances which I want my viewers to try and appreciate. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you have tried this. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.